Unity's journey to the Vatican actually took them beyond the Vatican. And while here in Italy, they also sang in other cities before heading off to Vienna and Budapest. The memories are many. For me, what stands out most is the Vatican. For others, well, take a listen. Somebody's knocking at your door, listen. We went to the um, Coliseum yesterday. We had to walk a lot. I was just tired. It was great. Oh, bye. It was great. We read about it, we've learned about it in history, uh, but just to actually be there in the presence, you know, with friends and family, I mean, it was an awesome experience. I, I met a lot of people. I've been, I became friends with a lot of people, and uh, the experience is great. The first morning that we had in Rome, we had to, uh, to pack up on the, the city metro, and it was during rush hour and um, it, we had to get 87 people on one metro bus and metro train. And the, that experience in itself, uh, there was quite a bit of anxiety. We had tour guides saying, you know, it's likely that you're only gonna get one or two people on a train at a time. And, you know, us as leaders are saying, absolutely not, we're gonna get everybody on it. So um, that just, I think the unexpected is, is something that, uh, that has been a challenge, but I honestly have enjoyed throughout this trip is, is figuring out um, what life is like in, in a different culture and in a different country. I am Catholic, so the Vatican was a huge thing for me. Not a, I don't want to say all the way up there with heaven, but it was like a step down almost. Like if there's any place to receive communion, that was the best place I could have received from. Singing during Mass was my most fondest memory because I've never attended a Mass and though I have a lot of Catholic friends, it was very interesting, especially because my dad is a pastor. Everybody's seen pictures of what the Vatican looks like, the insides. Pictures don't do it justice. Trying to capture that beauty with video um, was quite the experience. Just to realize the depth of the beauty and the place that we're standing in and the wonders of God that are worked there. It's a very holy and sacred place, so yes, of course, I was nervous. It was the pinnacle of this trip to be able to be a part of that. Now that the European tour is over, Unity's next big project is Indiana's Bicentennial. As an honoree of the Indiana Bicentennial Commission's Legacy Project, the choir will participate in a celebration marking Indiana's 200th birthday later this year. Of course, Wayne TV will let you know when it takes place and be there as always with coverage you can count on. At the Vatican, I'm Tara Brantley.